we're looking at a future, a possible future of disaster capitalism, climate change, climate refugees, social and economic meltdown. It isn't looking bright at all. Last October, 21 of us scaled two chimneys and shut them down. Uh, we shut down an entire gas-fired power station. It was about to go online and we took it out. And we did this by living in two chimneys. We took enough food supplies and water to last us two weeks. We stayed there for a week in the end, or eight days. And the purpose of the protest was to really put the government's dash for gas on the map and to try and oppose this policy of building up to 40 new gas power stations, making us dependent on a pollutant, dirty, unsustainable fossil fuel for the next generation or more. And we wanted to show that this wasn't going to tackle fuel poverty, this wasn't going to tackle climate change, this was going to bring us more instability uh, and less power and re-empower these unaccountable corporations. To reclaim the future, you need to reclaim the present and you need to reclaim your own agency, your own sense of, of power, of, of ability, of capability. And you do that with other people. You can't do it on your own. You can't do it through Twitter or Facebook or, or just a, a demonstration or a protest. You need to get organized. <laughs> Efendim merhaba, buradaki amacınız nedir? Şu an bir eylem var galiba, sessiz eylem. Bir şeyler konuşmayacak mısınız? And the Occupy Wall Street movement moved from the streets to the docks on Monday with a series of actions along the West Coast. Thousands of protesters descended on ports in San Diego, Long Beach, Los Angeles, Oakland, San Diego, Portland, Oregon, Tacoma, Longview, Seattle, Bellingham, Washington, Anchorage, Alaska, and Vancouver to disrupt the commercial traffic of major corporations in the name of the 99 percent, they said. A lot of it is about how we're, we're viewing our world and how we're viewing our own sense of agency. We have to reclaim our rights to education, to health, to freedom of movement, to our own control over our own labour. Um, and this idea that we do have the right to control our, our energy system, that this isn't something that belongs to corporations, it belongs to us. And it's that kind of radical rethinking that needs to happen because a lot of people believe that you just need money and you've got to have the capitalist system otherwise nothing's going to get done and how are people going to live and, and that this will be the collapse whereas actually the collapse is going to happen because of the capitalist system but you're also potentially disrupting the british economy aren't you according to quadrilla what did, does that stop you in your tracks at all well that's just ridiculous
For all over the world, people are struggling for the same thing, and it is democracy, and it is democratic control, and it is, um, you know, the, the freedom to decide your your future. And we're not, we don't have that freedom at the moment.